Events of that day on a yellow sheet of paper, notes that are now a book called From Love Field. We took Mrs. Connolly back to Dealey Plaza for only her second visit since that day. As we drove the motorcade route, the memories returned, especially when she caught sight of the Texas Book Depository. That's the horrible building. Do you concur with those who believe that America lost its innocence that day? I believe. I think we're struggling to get it back. The world is so complicated now, you can't live by the simple things that we used to live by. President Johnson later said that one day changed everything forever, and tomorrow at 12.30 in the afternoon, things will pause here to remember that day, Tom. Brian Dallas spent so many years trying to remove that scar from that city. What's the move there tonight? Well, a generation has grown up, times change and people change. There's no changing the fact that people here drive past that white X in the middle of the road that marks the fatal shot. So for the first time, the city is going to embrace one of these anniversaries. All right, thanks very much, NBC's Brian Williams tonight in Dallas all weekend tomorrow uh, at 10 p.m. on MSNBC on cable, an hour-long documentary, JFK, the day that changed America, the remembrances for many people of that day, the man who changed this country, including this memory from William F. Buckley, who 40 years ago was America's foremost conservative commentator. What he was was a man of enormous allure. I've traveled in many parts of the world, and I've seen pictures of JFK in remote uh, sections of uh, animal parks in Africa and of Greek uh, villages, there's, there's something about the impact of, of his face and manner that uh, carried people away.